Hi, I'm Gerard Barron uh, from Humboldt, Saskatchewan. This is my wife, Yvette. And? Keep going. And Angela, our daughter. <laughs> and we come from, Humboldt. come from Humboldt, Saskatchewan, and we definitely came here with some expectations of trying to improve our health. So, Yvette? Uh, personally, I had a lot of issues uh, stiffness and achiness and soreness and just attributing it to age and then Yvette found uh, Dr. Wolf online and we've been listening to his one a days and started to realize this isn't just about me getting older I can be retired it doesn't mean I have to be stiff and sore I can enjoy the rest of the, what I've got left for life I uh, well I'm a practitioner therapist myself with uh, my own practice in Humboldt and um, I'm always looking into health and wellness and uh, I just through uh, some of my uh, study I was came across Dr. Wolf and the International Training Institute of Health and uh, from there it just inspired me to look further into it and took off from there just to want to be in closer touch. Before I came here, it's just you just assume you're getting older, so you ache. Mm -hmm. I'm 60, so it's like when you're 40, well, I'm 40, and then it becomes 50, and you just don't realize you gradually progress into getting stiffer, sore, and achier, and you just think, well, it's arthritis, it's this, it's that, it's why I worked all my life, so those things are just going to happen. And then Yvette starts, we start listening to Dr. Wolf, and it's like, no, you can take your life back and have a lot of the freedoms you had. You're not 25, or you're not 20, but that doesn't mean that 60, you're, you, can hardly, you're, you can hardly walk or be, be mobile. So that was a big deciding factor, and then Yvette was looking into coming here, and just we talked about it, and it was just something we felt we should do. Well, I went to a chiropractor a few times and just a massage therapist and you just, you know, it helps for a couple of days and you slowly get, but you never really get to the root of certain things. There's areas I had that were really achy and sore and you just think, well, it's just achy and sore and I'm not one to want to take a bunch of painkillers, but that's what I think a lot of people do is they just assume, well, we'll just take a Tylenol and that'll get me through the day. And then one Tylenol will lead to five, and I'm not wanting to do that, so I was looking for an alternative. Okay. Well, I had a bunch of personal problems, uh, a couple of hernias, and you just assume it's all about hard work or age or whatever, right? And it's just, you know, it's just my weak spot or whatever, and it's kind of like, no, you have other issues, that's just the result of. And so those were the big deciding factors as to say, yeah, okay, we've got to look into this more. And then we've talked about it. And of course, she was following him more than me. But yeah. And she'd say, you got to clean up your diet. You have to start doing things to have that life. So that was a big, big change for me. For, for myself, the motive was um, a little different just because I'm 22. So I don't deal with a lot of stiffness or... There's, there's not a lot of physical problems right now that I'm noticing, but coming here, I, um, first of all, listening to Dr. Wolf, um, mainly through Instagram or YouTube, um, it's been awesome because he's so inspiring and it, and it just, everything he was saying really resonated with me. And it just, it, it I really wanted to come visit um, his, his place here and um, in Kelowna and um, get to see how the technique works a little bit. Um, and of course, to f to find out that I have enough enough um, you know stiffness in my own way that if I let it get out of hand when I'm 60 years old, then maybe I won't be moving so well. So um, that's been a benefit. But um, getting to have your paradigm challenged and um, really be really to be challenged in a sense where you're encouraged to find your inner self and be your best self um and to take that with you when you leave um not just the technique that you take with you but to take your your true self with you when you leave we're we're working on it we okay. I, um it's something that we got introduced to mainly as we got in contact and we really started to apply 
uh, some of the products that we feel could be a good support to ourselves. We always been a family that was um, involved with supplemental health, so that was nothing new to us. But as far as having the perfect day kind of diet, it's 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 a change, and we're we're really you know we're ready, and we just want to work at doing that, you know. So it's something that we feel we got to get it it's got to be in our mind it's a it's a mindset it's a lifestyle and a lot of what goes along with that is a lot of attachment to um other hang-ups or beliefs or patterns that we got into that aren't just real pretty to change <laughs> when well, talking to dr wolf you don't realize that old saying, the issues in the tissue, but it really starts with your mind. The aches come out in other parts of your body or things happen, but it really starts with your mind and your mindset. So the perfect day diet helps you just clean up your diet, which really is an end result of your whole thought. Why, it like, uh, uh, like it was said is like, do you take out a salad, make a salad when you're depressed? Or do you actually grab a bag of Comfort chips foods. or comfort food or whatever it is and so that's the difference are you going to make those conscious choices but why are you there in the first place why are you depressed so if you can deal with those things you're going to have a lot less issues and and pain because you're dealing with them and like dr wolf says we're so our subconscious rules over our conscious mind it's he's i think he said it's 90 percent to 10 percent conscious so you just naturally react without thinking and we have to start thinking be and then react and we're going to have a different and, uh, and that's the whole perfect day diet really helps you i think living the perfect day is first turn on your mind start thinking being it aware it helps you to have an action plan instead of just reaction yeah um for me i feel emotionally that dr wolf didn't waste any time getting to the heart of what's within and um it's an uncomfortable some of those sessions with him are uncomfortable but um he basically helps you uncover what probably would have taken months or years for you to do on your own if you even could so there's a certain sense of liberation from that but now knowing there's a lot more to dive into but um it's it's an opportunity to be faced with am I willing to embrace that challenge and really look within or am I going to just clam up and continue to be exactly how I am right now and continue to be that way for the rest of my life that there very much is hope you know we especially if you start to feel that you can be in touch with your authentic self and be your authentic self uh, we, when you can learn how to master your wellness, it, it's a it's a power that comes within that you can't possibly feel that hopeless. Yeah, um, we're conditioned to think that the answers are all outside of ourselves, that we're going to have to look here or there, some whether it's a pill or a treatment. When really, with coming here, you're going to learn that it's taking back your own power and that's what allows these types of treatments and techniques to have so much um so much leverage because you're working with them you're you're being in control as opposed to being um at the mercy of whatever disease or ailment you're facing personally for me you think you're happy but when dr wolf really talks to you you're settling, you really realize you're settling for a lot of things. You just are conditioned to believe that. And when you start to really wake and notice that maybe that isn't, yeah, I was settling for all that, but is that just what I have to settle for? There's so much more mm -hmm. that I can have if I want it. But you have to be willing to put the work into it and say, I'm going to change and do it. And that's where Dr. Wolf really helps you want to say, are you willing to do this? 
and he's very blunt about it so that's the part you have to look at yourself and once you've made that decision you're going to start to change and look at yourself you will you will just feel a difference and that was a big change for me well especially about training and treatment because i've went through a lot of different courses and classes in my own training and this is just something it, it's very unique it, it's a uh, it it's there's nothing you can really compare it to um because it isn't something that is wanting you to just keep coming to an outside approach it's teaching you how to use your own powers and your own authentic self your own master of yourself can come alive it's so much where it's no longer just a complimentary kind of a treatment and um, the way sage um, dr wolf or any of the staff have applied themselves or given themselves to really make the best of help us get the most out of the treatment it just it's you it's a it becomes a very personal kind of uh communication and a contact and they're here they're they're here now and they're here for us when we go i feel that sage is just awesome the, the stiffness i talked about when i can literally do a squat the next day i haven't done that in 20 years what can i say uh yeah there's some exterior pain and stuff but he's dug down to the root of a lot of things that were so deep but they've also trying to give us the technique to be able to do it ourselves so we don't have to come back in six weeks or two months or four months if we want to learn this we are getting this opportunity yes we're not as good as he is but we're learning and th that's the big thing they're so supportive you can text them you can phone them anytime and they'll help you with it with a problem and so we can work on each other and that's how you get a lot of your you're not running to a doctor you just you take care of it yourself our bodies can heal so let's just try to help them along help it along that's the big thing and sage has been awesome he's just mm -hmm. been he's just got he's such a good way about him demeanor about himself that you feel so relaxed and open about all the th areas you're working on and we just appreciate him or i'm speaking for myself but that's how i feel that's, that's all of us feel yeah. the same yeah, um, Dr. Wolf, Sage, Jason, the whole team, um, everyone's absolutely e excellent. Um, you're told to feel right at home when you walk in, and, and then they, m they make you feel right at home when you walk right in. Um, super knowledgeable. Um, Sage, um, it's as you're working in the treatments that, that you're, you're getting to learn all these tidbits, not just about the technique, but about the body. And if that's something that you're especially um attuned to then uh i think it's just awesome because it's such a learning experience and and as far as being welcomed you do feel right at home from the day we came jason came and got us mm -hmm. into our place dr wolf was here and we just feel at home it's, it is like a holiday for us we yes we have our day but our evenings are just to do use there's so much so many things we can use to help heal our bodies while we're here and they give us all these tools to work with plus we can just enjoy Kelowna it's beautiful we got a beautiful deck we can sit out there in the evening the weather's been great couldn't ask for a better holiday this is truly because as I said it, it, this teaches you to take back your own power to own your own day um, with that being the starting block um, it makes all things possible not just in your treatment but in your life so just coming here if you took nothing else away being instilled with that sense of purpose um is going to do wonders it's going to it's going to totally change your mindset yeah. and uh, my uh, my feeling is i agree with that 100 percent, and definitely would tell people to come you have to come with an open mind but you're going to leave mm -hmm. with a a different feeling i came here with the expectation to fix some Physical. Some physical things, but I'm really learning that it's your mind and your mental things that really translate into the physical. And so you have to come knowing you're going to be ripped apart, ripped apart, <laughs> put back together with love.
And that's the big change. Like that's the big thing is to just know that you've been, you got to look at yourself and we don't want to do that. Guys, especially, it's really tough to, to look deep and say, hmm, I'm happy, but is everybody in your family happy? Is your family functional or dysfunctional? Am I going to protect them and watch them and make sure that my family goes out and be, is good? And if we all did that, the world would be a better place. We wouldn't have so much, so many problems and that this group is better than that group because nobody's better than anybody. We're all people. We're all here. So that's a big thing. That's just huge. I just think that this is, this is an awesome opportunity to, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really getting comfortable with the things that have always made you uncomfortable. Um, the whole process isn't always, it doesn't always feel, it doesn't always feel good because you're going to have to learn to change ways about yourself that um, really weren't in your best interest. And it's, it's so interesting to learn about the subconscious and how there's so much of it that is actually controlling us in our day without us even knowing it, um, contributing to our problems emotionally, physically, in your family, in your interactions with others, in your interactions with yourself. And when something can teach you self-love, um, to love, honor, and respect yourself, what, what better thing than that? So go for it. Mm -hmm.